It's another alleged gameplay video. Gaming in the front room tonight. Super Mario World. On the SNES. On the Super Console X. So, I hope everyone's okay. Welcome back. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. I'm going to be pretty crap at this. So let's talk about this game because it could be... It could be one of my favourite instalments of all time. Although Super Mario 64 was quite good as well. So me and the grandson are currently playing this at the moment. Not literally at the moment. It's a bit late for him bedtime wise. Uh, but on our regular kind of Saturday morning gaming sesh. We, uh, we're getting through this one. I might start doing videos of that because it can be quite funny. The old uh, Saturday morning gaming session with him. You never know what a five-year-old's going to come out with. And he comes out with some classics. Come on. What I've noticed is it is really obvious that, you know, games back in the day were a lot more difficult. I know that's sort of the main sort of common thing to say, but it really is noticeable with this. So this is something that I finished, completed, back in the day. Absolutely loved it. It was really this and Donkey Kong Country Returns. Well, not Returns, Donkey Kong Country. Uh, it was a real high point in 16-bit uh, in gaming for me. Great times and great days back then. Um, I can't remember... I can't remember now if I, I I went out and got this separately. I think, though, this was a packing game with my SNES. Because it's either this or F-Zero. Because both those games at different points were, were packing games. But thinking back now, I think it must have been this because I only ever had the cartridge. Um, but with uh, I can distinctly remember the F-Zero box. So uh, it must have been this that I got with the SNES. So I looked into picking this up for the collection a while back, and it was quite expensive, and that was for a loose cart. So don't quite understand. I imagine because it was a... Um, a packing game and a popular game uh, getting it boxed and complete is quite I don't know quite difficult I suppose not difficult but not exactly a common thing so uh, yeah I will look back into it and see how, see how much they're going for another another game on the SNES I would have liked was um, when I updated the NES games was it called? I think it was called Super Mario All-Stars. Might be wrong. But I never got around to getting that. Oh, go in there. Oh. oh, God, I missed that. You've got to go down there because I think there's an opportunity to get three or four extra lives in there if you get a sequence correct. I don't know. What a silly sausage. Again, if you're worried about the Super Console X saving these games, it'll do it. It'll do it automatically. You don't have to worry about it. I was quite surprised at that. But uh, we are we are struggling to to get past this pit. This bit, me and the me and the uh, me and the grandson. Come on. We finished a few games together. Um, I finished with him uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. That was great stuff. I'm trying to think of something else. Oh, we were playing Donkey Kong, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. That's quite tough. That one for him. And we were playing a, a Sonic game. It might have been Sonic Generations on the Xbox 360. 
So we've had quite a few games going, and when I think about it, they all tend to be platformers. Come on. Also got fond memories. I don't... What I've just done there, I really don't understand the point of that bonus area. I must be missing something in there. But we took him out straight away. Um, yeah, really good fond memories of... Uh, Super Mario 3 now or Mario Brothers 3 on a NES now never really I was never interested in the NES uh, but a friend of mine had one and uh, I must I must confess that I had to reluctantly you know credit where credit is due when he got that that third game I was quite impressed with that it was a really a really nice looking game and it, it, it introduced so many new features the third one it never it wasn't enough to make me go out and buy a NES I think uh, I think even then I was still using my C64 and then I got interested again in consoles and I uh, I decided to wait I was going to wait for the Mega Drive. So that was the first 16-bit console that I'd bought, followed closely by the SNES. But before that, I had, uh, had, uh, I had computers, and uh, obviously as a kid, I had the Atari. I loved the Atari VCS. But yeah, yeah, just thought I'd show that one. It's not in the collection. Maybe it will be, maybe it won't be. Who knows? Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Ever try homosexuality? Um. Well, you know, you're a cricket man yourself, aren't you? <laughs>